What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. That's Mike. I'm Chris. What's up, Mike? <laughs> Not much, Chris. What's going on there, brother? Nothing much. Uh, we're doing Nosferatu. Uh, Mike's moving around an awful lot. This is episode five, The Wraith. <laughs> we're five episodes in, my man. Uh, yeah, this was a good one. I, although, although, all right. So I would, I, I'm, I'm going to say right off the bat, I, I yeah. am really enjoying this show. I'm really liking the information that they're slowly giving us. It's yes. really good. However, I do feel like it's interesting. I, 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 I am enjoying the story, like Vic's story with her family. Mm. But at the same time, I'm kind of like, I really would like it to just go with Manx and 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 go only only because you the, the inscape stuff is so cool yeah i mean and they're doing this really good drama like grounded drama with the family and everyone involved the mother the father and vic and and they're they're so good i enjoy all these characters they're acted so well i'm like i like the dialogue but i what? i want to see more inscape stuff yeah, I mean, well, we talked a little bit about this already, and you had told me, you know, you know what your dislikes of it or whatever it was already. So, yeah, I think the the cool thing uh, about Manx that we learned is more about um, when he's sitting with uh, Vic in the bus depot or right, the bus yeah. uh, the bus station, yeah, station I mean, that's, or whatever. That's the you know. That's cool to to see how he kind of tries to lure her into living forever, and he gives that that hint of. We, I mean, we kind of knew already that he drain he's draining the kids, and that's what keeps him young and alive. Right. But that he can he kind of says that you can live forever if you find out what your how how you can control your um inscape because because it it seems like maybe the more and more she goes through the bridge, she can potentially die. Yeah. Right. You know. Well, so yeah. It'll, it's, right. It drains her. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's technically <laughs> yeah. like killing her um i i kind of got from it oh, and like he Ken, obviously, if she uses it too much yeah right. yeah so i mean i think that uh i think that was pretty interesting that we got a little information about manx that way yeah um one thing is so just 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 staying on the fact that they're showing a lot of, of vic stuff and like we're really mm. like really getting into her family and like we're, like it's a lot of it and i'm thinking are they setting us up for a fall like are they gonna like get us to really really get involved in her story and then all of a sudden there's going to be something crazy like her parents are going to get killed or something like that now again this is interesting people who've read the book and have also binged the whole the whole season right now so yeah. it's interesting for us to talk like this even though we don't know but yeah but yeah but i mean i just wondering and the other thing that i want to talk about is the fact that she tells that preppy kid forget his name that she had basically she basically almost died drowning in the pool yeah. from older cousins and i'm thinking did her did, did that was essentially a near-death experience. Did that unlock her ability? I actually thought about that, too. It's funny you said that. Um, yeah, I mean, listen, uh, could it have? I don't know. Maybe we'll get the answer to that um, eventually. Um, yeah, I mean, like like, um, like we were talking already. We're getting a little glimpses. Maybe you want a little bit more, a little bit faster. But the dynamic stuff, I want to go to what you said about, like, the parents. Yeah. Um, and how how about how about the the, the situation where um, Vic Vic couldn't sleep and she freaks out she goes into the garage and I mean that's a setup and using the linoleum tiles to make like the the um, the copy uh, mm -hmm. the copies for those the pictures of Max and the Wraith and all this kind of stuff right. I think that's a start of um, the family dynamic and now that um, Tiffany doesn't necessarily want her there anymore you should be with your mother mm -hmm. and the father kind of agrees with that. So I think that's a big build up, and maybe there will be some kind of fallout or some death to the parent. Um, that's how shows usually write it, you know. Just like when you start getting um, invested in a character, or they start adding more story to a character that you don't necessarily see all the time. Boom! That's you how know? I did on The Walking Dead. Remember? Yeah, exactly. There's yeah. a romance brewing, and then by They're the next dead, episode, yeah. the person's dead. But I so, think honestly, I think that if it, if it's setting us up for some one of them to die, like that, it, again, you're really setting us up. Like we're really in the in the nitty gritty of that of those yeah. relationships, and it's a very dysfunctional yeah. <laughs> thing. I'm sorry, sorry, buddy. I, I've been sick, so 
<laughs> I have this. So I have bear, a cough with, and a sore uh, throat. So I apologize bear. for coughing into the mic. It's just I can't help it. Yeah, I don't think that's but, a big deal. Don't worry about it. But the show's <laughs> got to go on. So the show's got to go on. Yes. I um yeah I, I I again I really do enjoy, but it's almost like two different shows at this point. But yeah, that was a very interesting thing, a very interesting scene. Watching her kind of like flip out and. Yeah, and carb, all that stuff. To the and music, she's like, yeah, and... she's like, I'm gonna use this for my portfolio. So yeah. let's talk about a little bit. She gets the the cops talk to her, and she basically the first time we they t- she talks she she basically tells the truth, but not all the truth, and the cop knows that, right? Yeah, exactly. Then we get, you know, Manx visits uh, uh, Bing. That was Partridge. that was a, that was yeah that was uh, that was a good scene. You know, it's just it's very creepy how. You know the Christmas light thing is cool in the in the basement in the uh, you know in the basement of Bing's place and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, just um, just how how Manx wants to have Bing kind of go to the police himself, and he's he's hiding in this basement, literally hiding behind a chair, right? So yeah, it's, but Manx uh, wants him to go, and he gives him that little story, and he's yeah, like, yeah. So he goes, he and repeats it. What I thought was really interesting about that is that was her great. Line that was great. Her line of yeah. questioning was like, oh, you know, do you want to be her friend? He's like. His answer was like, "Do you have a relationship with her?" She's or, a, right? Yeah, and he's like, "She's she's a high school kid." Yeah, and she and she, but she's like, "Okay, yeah, but what about your past?" And he's like, "Those records are supposed to be closed. Those records are closed." So obviously, she knows that he has she's a like, record she, of sexual <laughs> assault. And um, so, see, does she? I think she does. Yes, I, don't, I mean, I possibly, does. possibly, maybe. Um, does 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 he know? Does she know of any sexual assault? Yeah, from the mom. Uh, they know. I don't know they know. If we yeah, they know. know they that. know what happened. Yes, they know. What Dude, happened. he what wouldn't it? be let out if they knew that. Uh, listen, I, Mikey. All I'm saying is that they know. They they know, know that that's what happened to the mom. Yes, and that's why she brought that up. So, and that's why he was like, "Well, no, those are closed. Those are closed." And then he just kept, continues to repeat his thing. So, I, I I disagree. I think it's more just about maybe his story that he initially told about both his parents being killed was. Listen, both the parents had a nail on the head. The the, the 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 Haley's mother had a nail on the head. If they knew his story, wouldn't they put that together that this woman was found? Wouldn't he be locked up right away if they knew that he killed his parents by a nail in the head? Uh, maybe. So I don't know because she was trying to bait him into yeah, saying, maybe. "Oh, she's pretty. Oh, you don't think she's pretty? Oh, no, 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 no. She she's eighteen years old. She's she's consenting." I just think she's trying to she's trying to get um, more from more out of out of Bing. But I think he, the actor did a fantastic job in that too. And we mentioned it already with the, he repeats the, his, his alibi that Manx well, he, pretty he's, much told him he's verbatim smart enough, to, right, to know to go back to that because it's like, okay, well now I don't like where this is going. I'm going to go back to that. So yeah. all that was actually really, really interesting. Mm-hmm. She mm-hmm. sees him in the school and he gives her the, the invitation to, or, you know, the, the location yeah. to go meet him. But, you know, and she's in the, and and he's talking. He's like, "Oh, but you're my friend." And she's like, "I'm not your freaking friend," you know. And like, I thought that was really interesting. I liked all that. This, then, you know, and then the stuff at the party, when she's like, "You know, why don't you come to this party with me?" And then Maggie is like, basically like, I don't know how old Maggie is. Like, obviously, she's not. I think she's a little bit older than twenties, yeah. I guess. Yeah. But I thought yeah. it was interesting that she used the Scrabble tiles and she freaked and she freaked out Willow. Like, I thought that was pretty cool. I didn't know where that was gonna go, and then they leave. So that was pretty cool. I just enjoyed that it wasn't, it didn't stay there. Like, um, mm-hmm. and then obviously she goes and meets up with Manx by herself. So very interesting how it was just them two. And yeah, he gives this whole thing. Like he's like, oh, listen, I, it's gonna drain you. It could kill you, but I figured out a way to do it. Obviously, it's the children. Um, yeah. His inscape. <coughs> sorry. <laughs> his his inscape is Christmas Land. Yeah. So t- to to maintain. His power level, he figured out a way to do that, and he and he says I could teach you, and she's like, mm. it's classic, classic Darth Vader move, you know, come to yeah. the dark side, and I can, mm-hmm. and we can basically rule the galaxy. Yeah. So you know, very interesting stuff. So let's talk about the whole wraith. She finds the wraith. Yeah, um, a little strange. Um, uh, it cool, but strange. A little bit. So it was many a little, other. It was of a, course, Maggie has to run into the open. I know you could have just hid behind a car, or like, or, or 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 weaved or weaved in and out of cars, like. <laughs> yeah. Or, but I mean, you got to just imagine at that point you're freaking right. out. You're not thinking straight. Yeah. I guess, but yeah, I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of things like that. They mm-hmm. had to conceit a way to get her, and not not for nothing. It was a little bit. Of, it was a little wonky. 
the way they hit her and stuff. That's, and that's like... really, I mean, the people that I know, um, <laughs> you know, that are watching the show, they said that's, that's the one knock of this is it, she could have went anywhere else. But, of course, she goes right into the open road. I'm glad she's alive. At first, I wasn't sure. Right, yeah. Um, if she was going to make it, Maggie. But, um, yeah, it's. Uh, I liked it's... it. It was cool. Very, very Christine. Very Christine. It, it was. It's cool that how he senses everything and it's a part of him. Oh, that was great. Yeah. That you was know, great. They're one essentially, yeah. but um, let's talk about the last. I mean, I don't. There's, we really got through a lot, but obviously, Vic is 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 meeting with Maggie, and now there's another situation that this girl is involved in. Okay, so um, yeah, at the end, and the she, cop, yeah, yeah, and then now the cop is is questioning her again, and she kind of just throws her cards all out on the table and says, "She's just like, I'm just gonna tell her. I'm just gonna like fuck it." Yeah, yeah and they want to fucking admit is, her, man. Yeah, which is not um. And the dad, like the dad, is like, I yeah. feel bad for Vic now because now nobody is yeah. on her side except Maggie. Like the dad, the dad, in her eyes, first of all, the dad kicked her out, mm-hmm. and then the dad has given up on her. Yeah, that guy don't know what to do. He don't know what to do. He don't know what to yeah. do. He just don't know what to do. Yeah. So he just thinks he just follows what everyone else says, and you know, and that's a little sad. So now, yeah, so we're left, and she signed the damn thing. So. Well, he said three days. So let's see. I mean, um, in the in the in the coming attraction for next week, you kind of oh, hear. It. Well, yeah, I, I, just a little bit. I don't think I watched the whole thing. I don't remember, but it's you hear like, like the doctor. Seconds. You hear the doctor talking to her, mm-hmm. and he says, "I can keep you here for ninety days if I wanted to." Yeah, without, right, right, yeah. like that. So, so I'm sure there's some kind of. Um, she's probably pleading her case and telling exactly how it is, and they're just like, "Yo, yeah. you're well, you're we'll fuck, happens, you're yeah. you're whack." So we'll see what happens, but another, I mean, another good one. Um, good. I, I, you know, I, yeah, I'm, I'm really interested in seeing where this goes. I'm really interested in seeing where yeah. this goes. Yeah, let's I, see. I want to, I want mean, to, I want it to, you know, I want it to, I want it to get good, you know. Uh, well, I, I wouldn't. I want to not get good. Get I want to see more. I want to. We're in a yeah. We're at a we're at a we're at a point now. Everyone I want to see knows inside. And... I think, and you probably agree. I want to see inside Christmas Land. I want to see yeah, what the hell was on. Land, yeah. I don't necessarily think it's going to be with with the next episode or something. I think it's this is these next um, couple may be uh, really just on Vic's mental health and Maybe, yeah. and Maggie getting well, better. Ho- hopefully not the couple. They got a lot to get through. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot to get through to get to a certain point. But anyway, yeah, yep. very, very good episode. Um, I'm absolutely enjoying it. I'm loving everyone in the show. Uh, you know, it's it's a uh, look. AMC shows are great, you know, um, whether you like it Walking Dead or not, you know. But I listen, I'm enjoying it. It's, it's a good show. Nosferatu. Is, Nosferatu. Nosferatu. So if you guys aren't watching, you should. Um, you probably wouldn't be watching this podcast if you weren't watching, but uh, go ahead anyway. Check out Nosferatu on AMC. It's a great series. Write in the comments section below. Let us know, uh, Chris and I, what you guys are thinking of these first five episodes of the series. It's been really cool. Um, no spoiler stuff if you guys put anything about the books in the um, the book, or if you've binge watched it because yeah, it's on, because it's on the AMC we're watching stuff, exactly. Yeah. We're watching them one by one. But of course, we'd love to hear your comments. And uh, we love trying to get to uh, as many as we can in these in the section there. So check us out, Third Person Pod, on all the social medias. We're always posting some cool stuff up there. Um, yeah, have a listen to us on iTunes. What else uh, we have, Chris? Listen, watch us on iTunes. We're all over the place. We're all over the place at Third Person Pod. Just do it. Yes. Right. Thanks, everybody. Love you. We'll talk to you tomorrow or whenever we see you again. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>